Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best down parkas for women, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Columbia Sportswear Hexbreaker Long Down Jacket. The Hexbreaker Jacket is one of my favorite choices of all. It is incredibly lightweight, it has an 80-20% to ratio of down to feather, and it is filled with 7 ounces of 600 fill down insulation. The parka is 37 inches long across the center back, and it is definitely long enough to keep you warm up to your knees. And it's not even too expensive. Only the large version of the parka has a high price tag. All other sizes are under $150. Now, I have to say that I don't really like how this winter parka looks, in terms of how stylish it is. If I'm being 100% honest, it kind of looks like a quilted trash bag, due to the black shiny color. But that is just my opinion, and it is coming from someone who really doesn't like wearing jackets at all. Also, it is pretty much the only bad thing I can say about this jacket. And since the winter parka is black, it will go nicely with everything else in your closet, and it won't get dirty too easily. There is a removable hood on this jacket that doesn't have a faux fur trim. And the collar is so high that it will be snug around your neck and ensure that absolutely no cold can get inside it. In addition to that, the interior of the hexbreaker features Columbia's Omni Heat technology, which retains body heat and reflects it, in order to keep you warm at all times. Overall, I would say that this jacket is a pretty good choice for really cold weather. Moving on at number 4, we have the Binia Veluker Women's Down Coat. Most of the high-end parkas are pretty expensive. And that's okay because you are paying for quality and durability. But if you are on a budget and you're trying to get a really warm coat at an affordable price tag, then I can't recommend this one from Binia enough. It's under $100, which is perfect if you can't afford to spend a lot. And it has a 90-10% to down to feather ratio, which will keep you really warm even when it's below zero outside. The jacket is mid-length, above the knees, so it's not really the best choice for extreme colds, unless you're okay with wearing multiple layers on your legs. But it is windproof and water-resistant, and it's great for some mild winters. Since it is not 100% waterproof, I would not recommend it for heavy rain. One thing that I really like about this parka is that it is structured. That just shows that even large and bulky jackets like this one can look flattering on a women's body, they just need to hug your curves. And the faux fur trim on the hood actually looks pretty stylish, in addition to being really high quality. Plus the trim is removable, so you can always detach it if you don't like it. Overall, this particular parka is an awesome affordable option, and if you decide to get it you will definitely get your money's worth. At number 3, we have the The North Face Women's Gotham Parka 2. The Gotham Parka is a great choice for really cold weather. For one this it is pretty long, and it measures 33 inches across the center back. And it is also filled with some North Face synthetic insulation, in addition to the 550 fill down. Both of those promise to keep you really warm, even in the dead of winter. This North Face jacket is also hooded, which is always a bonus for me. But you can't remove that hood, and that's a downside in my opinion. Additionally, the Gotham Parka features a full-length front zipper, several zippered hand pockets, and a really convenient media pocket inside. I'm a big fan of that last feature since we all know how rare it is to find a good women's jacket with internal pockets, for some reason, this feature is much more common on men's jackets. Overall, I would recommend this North Face jacket for women who are looking for outerwear that will keep them warm even in some extreme temperatures. I wouldn't recommend this for fall, since the winter parka isn't 100% waterproof, and it's not really ideal for heavy rain. But it's great for snow and slush if that's what you are looking for. At number 2, we have the Jesse G Women's Water Resistant Down Parka. The Jesse G Parka is another great affordable choice. It's completely inexpensive, which makes it awesome for all of you who are on a budget. 
And the 80 to 20% down to feather ratio means that it will keep you pretty warm in the cold, especially because down with 600 fill power was used for this jacket. It's not quite knee length, 35, but it does end just a little bit above the knee which is perfectly fine for winter. I really like that the collar of this jacket is so high. That means that it will keep the cold from sneaking in and that it will retain body heat pretty well. Plus, you also get a detachable hood with faux fur trim. But keep in mind that the fur itself is not removable. So, you'll either need to learn to love it or lose the hood completely, if you generally don't like faux fur trims. The parka is water resistant, which means it's fine to wear in some light rain or snow. But it is not waterproof and it's not really a good choice for heavy rain. One more thing I don't really like is that the external pockets are pretty small and they are not even zippered. But at least you get one interior pocket, which is so small most people never even notice it. It is in the upper left part of the parka, right next to the zipper. And finally at number 1, we have the Marmot Women's Montreux Down Coat. If you are looking for a coat that will keep you toasty warm no matter how cold it gets outside, I think this is just the one for you. For one thing, it is filled with 700 fill power down, which is really high on the quality scale. Plus it is a long parka, it measures 39 inches across the center back, and it will cover the better part of your body. One thing that you will love about this jacket is that it's coated with a DWR finish. So, it is pretty water resistant and it will manage to keep you warm even if you get wet. Oh and if you are still not convinced, consider the fact the torso area is lined with plush. This pretty much means that you could wear a thin shirt underneath this winter jacket and still stay toasty in extreme cold, perfect for work. You also have two zipped external pockets on this parka, as well as two internal pockets. Overall, this is definitely one of the best down parkas you can get for the winter. I also really like the fact that the collar is pretty high, so you won't be cold even if you remove the hood. It is on the expensive side, but I think that it is worth every penny. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.